damn, do I got a video for you guys. <laughs> All right, I think I need to say something. There's people saying about the market crash, which I'm not necessarily saying that's not gonna happen. And yes, we'll probably see more downside and we'll see a possible shakeout, but overall things are bullish. But the main thing is to stack your assets. Why would you sell your assets? If everyone's telling you that to make the money, you need to stack assets and have a lot of assets because the rich have assets and you can borrow against your assets. Why would you sell them? If poor people don't have assets, but they stack cash, the key is to stack your assets. Do not sell, not financial advice. Stack your assets, create cash flow so you don't have to sell your assets. And hopefully you can be good enough to get cash flow from your assets, like staking crypto or getting dividends from stocks. These things can give you cash flow on top of cash flow from your assets. Do not sell your assets. Stack maybe a little bit of cash. This is just my advice, not financial advice. Stack a little bit of cash, but mostly stack assets. Stack crypto, stack stocks. Stack the stuff up, save it, and overall just buy these dips and accumulate. Now that's one strategy, I think it'll work, but let's check out the charts and see what's going on. All right, we're here with the charts, and as you can see, we are looking at NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, is the overall stock market other than the SPY, but basically the NASDAQ cons consists, or the SPY consists mostly of the NASDAQ. So you'll see the NASDAQ heavily influencing the SPY, which is the overall meter of the stock market per se, because it holds a lot of the stocks inside of it, because if it's, it's an index fund. But without getting too much into the mechanics of that, you can see that we hit this double bottom and we hit this large rally here off of that double bottom. So what you're seeing now is possibly what you could see because we did have, um, it was a, a green day, but on some stocks um, we had some red and you can see some selling here in the uh, pre or after market after hours. So this could be a bounce, but you might see some selling tomorrow or you might see a red day because we had this large rally and that could be another shakeout and you could see another dip and we could re test these levels on the SPY and then that would bring down on the general market um, on other stocks and right now crypto as well. And that's why we're talking about the SPY because um, it's heavily influenced right now. As you can see, this, the charts look very, very similar um, because they're heavily influenced by the SPY right now. So Bitcoin is an asset that will correlate to different things. So sometimes it will correlate to the dollar, pumping or dumping sometimes it will correlate to the stock market sometimes it will correlate to bonds sometimes it will correlate to everything sometimes it will correlate to nothing and that's the very uh peculiar thing about bitcoin and crypto um but because the same people invest in these things they tend to correlate um more than they don't but long story short like as i was saying on the intro basically you could see another shakeout but what the goal is is to stack your assets so basically the money game if you figure it out and you study it and you know you know that um, basically the rich don't work for money they uh they borrow money and they pay it back because they have assets they have cash flow and they accumulate wealth and they know how to maintain and manage that wealth and they do that by accumulating assets not by stacking cash they don't let cash sit. they don't just put cash in a savings account like a normal person and think that that's going to get them out of poverty or think that's going to get them ahead. That's not how you get ahead. Working a nine to five is good, but just working a nine to five, unless you're making a couple hundred grand a year, isn't going to get you where you need to be. So the case in point is to stack assets, which appreciate in value, which gives you uh, generates wealth and then also generate cash flow from them from things like staking and dividends that way you generate cash flow so you don't have to sell your assets and continue to accumulate and stack and stack and stack and that is the million dollar plan as you will see and I will talk about in other videos the million dollar three to five year plan which I will be talking about in other videos but as we move on you can see that there's a mixed bag throughout the general markets of crypto and stocks. We can see that fear is at 20, so it's still relatively high. 
on the fear index and that means it's still a good time to buy you want to do the opposite of what everyone's doing you don't want to do what the herd's doing you want to be a leader you don't want to be a follower okay so that is key in this game now don't take my advice or just don't take anyone's advice blindly do your own research do your own due diligence this is not financial advice this is just me giving you guys some direction and you can choose to take that or not but as you can see we can see the social analytics on bitcoin have been going up lately if we went to google trends you can see that that has been going up lately um and these are the top talked about coins as of right now today on the social analytics spectrum basically we look at this because when people are searching for these things and they're looking at these things um you it normally uh, correlates to price so as you can see um and if i pulled up the google trends chart which i will do uh, and we can go ahead and look at google trends and check out bitcoin and i will show you guys how uh social metrics volume um kind of correlates to price so if we just go ahead and search bitcoin and search terms currency and then we're going to look at the world as overall so not just the united states we're going to look at worldwide but as you can see um if you look uh so this was the run up to 69k this was the run up to uh 60 4k and this is the low we had the bottom um, this is the little run up to 52k but this is the little spike that we had too as well and as you can see it's dipping down a little bit but as you can see how this can easily correlate to price as people are searching for it looking it up and it's picked up by google it's picked up by these analytics um that is good for the stock now if we go ahead and look at our favorite meme stock amc which is our squeeze play which we are waiting for the shorts to cover and to cause a lot of buying volume you can see that we are kind of in this bullish structure right now this bullish pennant but we have to wait for more time to play out we had this double bottom heavily influenced by the spy we are heavily influenced by the spy right now but uh, amc also has a high beta ratio which means it doesn't correlate the spy and all the times that we had these massive run-ups like the massive run-up to 72 the spy was actually having a red day and you can go ahead and look that up for yourselves if you like but as we had this massive run-up back here to 72 dollars um the spy was actually having a red day and that gives us the um, inverse correlation to the spy as of sometimes but as overall the weight of the market will generally pull down all stocks it's very hard for some stocks to avoid unless they have a catalyst or something of that nature but as you can see we're in this bullish structure we're going to need more price action to play out to find out exactly what is going on um, i do expect to see red and amc tomorrow unfortunately but it's not about that it's about waiting for the shorts to cover all we are doing is waiting and of course trying to time this thing would be extremely hard because it's going to be a sudden violent move if you want to capture all of the gains you need to get in and you need to sell your shares and clusters at certain price levels i highly suggest everyone have a plan for the squeeze don't go into the squeeze blindly um, don't just ho ho wake up and think that it's going to be sitting at a price and it's going to sit there this is going to be a violent move to the upside and my plan personally you guys can form your own plan or your own analysis whatever the case may be or if you want some suggestions i can give you those but my plan is to sell at certain price targets a certain amount of my shares and i'm going to sell a certain percentage of my shares as it climbs up price targets as they go higher and higher and then i'm going to leave a small percentage of shares as runners to try to get as much profit as i can and kind of gamble with but i'm going to capture and take profits on key levels and that's just my personal plan but that is what we are waiting on on amc and gme um so let's see here uh we go to amc institutional ownership um you can see that a lot of institutes institutions were buying in q2 q3 and a little bit in q4 but not many have sold there's a still a large amount of institutional ownership in amc shorts is up to about 20 percent short interest and blackrock owns a huge amount of shares as well and they are long and short as they are hedge funds they hedge their position but most of them are 
uh, mostly net long. So that means they have more long positions than short. And as you can see, short interest is climbing and climbing and climbing. And you cannot have a short squeeze without short interest. And you can see that the institutions are highly invested in this stock. There's a lot of manipulation. There's a lot of FTDs, failure delivers, and a lot of stuff going on with AMC. As you can see, we have 1,000 or 13,382 calls expiring in the money on February 4th, which is Friday. Um, at $16 and we have about approximately 12 hours and 22 minutes until the stock market opens. Again, you're just seeing a lot of red here in the crypto markets, but it's pretty much a mixed bag overall. And that is the same with stocks. But that is the video. Hopefully you found it informative. As you guys can see, I am forming some type of plan. My plan personally to uh, deal with these markets and this volatility is to buy these dips and accumulate over time, stacking and accumulating my wealth and then creating cash flow so I don't have to sell my assets and also having my assets create cash flow for me by the form of staking. It's very easy for a normal person now to do these things. We don't need fancy bank accounts. We don't need, um, uh, we don't need the things that you needed before to get 15% interest, which you can get um, off of coins like Atom. You can get 5% easily on Coinbase from the wallet Exodus. You can get up to 13 to 15% on Atom. You can get 6% on Algo, 5% uh, on ADA. And personally, I stake my coins and earn uh, staking rewards from them, creating cash flow from them, um, trying to do trades with stock sometimes, but mostly accumulating my long positions and holding. Also dividends on stocks is another way you can generate cash wealth or cash flow from your assets. But like I said, that is the video. We'll talk more about that on the plan on how to stack wealth and accumulate wealth. Basically what I was saying, the million dollar plan. Um, so it's accumulating assets, generating cash flow, and getting out of the mindset of a, I don't want to say wage slave because it's kind of mean, but we all are working and trying to accumulate, but we got to get ahead of the game and nine to fives, unless you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, just won't cut it. So that is the video. Hopefully you found it informative. If you did go ahead and drop a like, subscribe for more content, and we are going to generate generational wealth for our families for a lifetime. As always, have fun, stay safe, keep hacking, make money. Peace out. All right, so that was the video. Hopefully you found it informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, more, subscribe for more content, and as always, have fun, stay safe, keep hacking. Peace out.